In our fifth installment in the Orbit series, we're going to take a look at some editing commands. But first, what I want to do is I want to kind of remind you that the Orbit does not have its own internal translator. So the file types, when you create them, or when you, um, well, I guess when you just create them, they're kind of what you see is what you get. So for example, if I were to create a file type and just start brailing in it, um, just uh, go and contracted braille and whatever I want, what's gonna happen is that's just edited or entered as, as is. So it will depend on what you use to open that file, how it will show up. For example, um, it's like saying I'm going to write the Pledge of Allegiance, okay, in contracted UAV braille, okay. I have to open that file on my computer with a translation software that can open it and understand what that says. If I try to open it in Word, a lot of it will look like gobbledygook because when you get to the word pledge, you have, it's like the whole second, the second word, you got a contraction already. So um, you have to, you have to, it'll look funny in, in the Word document. So you have to open that in a, a program that has an internal translator. The file type that the Orbit creates is just kind of a one size fits all and, and it, it lets you kind of pick how you're gonna open it. So that's kind of where that sits. So what we're going to do next is we're going to um, open a folder called documents, which I have actually up here on the, the, the uh, display. So just in case you have forgotten, you create a new folder with the space with the letter O and that will allow you to create a folder. But now I have a, a, a folder called Documents, and I'm gonna open that, and it has no files in it, so I need to create one. So because we were talking about the pledge, I'm going to create a file, and I'm gonna call it Pledge. So I'm going to do a space with the letter N, and that will give me uh, an edit field that I can enter the name of the file, so I'm gonna call it P-L-E-D-G-E. Um, I like to use just uncontracted Braille and file types, it's, it's, or file names. It's, it's kind of habit, really, because you used to have to do that. I'm going to hit enter, and here we are. We are in the file, and uh, it's um, giving me that. So here we go. So here we're in the file, and I can tell we're, in, in, we can, we're editing it because it's got this cursor up here. Um, we're going to talk... Well, first of all, I guess what I'm going to do is I'm going to really quick write the pledge, the first line of the Pledge of Allegiance, and then we're going to talk about navigating and selecting, copying, and pasting some text. So I'm just going to really quick do that. Yeah, that was nice and fast, wasn't it? Okay, well, here's where it gets a little bit interesting. Um, and it kind of is not one of those things that's exactly the most intuitive. Uh, when we talk about what, uh, doing something with text that we have selected, what we have to do is we have to create a mark. And a mark is like saying, this is the beginning of the selection of text. And then we move our cursor to where we want the end of the selection to be and then we perform our command. So let me just show you really quick. So what I wanna do is now I'm at the end of the pledge because I just I had just written it. So I'm going to go back word by word until I find, uh, let's go with the United States. So I'm gonna go back a word by word with my space and a right or a left arrow, excuse me. And I'm not sure what word I'm focused on because I'm trying to talk to you and do this at the same time. And it, it's, it's not as easy as you'd, you'd think. So, okay, here we go. Here's the U in United States. So I'm focused right on the, the U. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the select button. And then I'm going to, it's going to bring up the menu. And then I'm going to hit an M for mark. And it's going to say um, mark set. And I'm just going to hit... Sorry, I'm just going to hit a, a dot eight, and it's going to um, now. I'm going to move my cursor over, and you probably can't see it, but I can feel it on the capital U, on the capital sign before the U. There is a, a dot seven and eight that's stationary there. That's indicating that that's a mark. 
So then what I want to do is if I want to select, for example, United States, I need to move my cursor to the end of the word states. So do, do, do. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to put it on the space after the S because that's a little bit easier to handle. So that's where my cursor is now. So now that's like I've marked from the beginning of the word United to the end of the word States because that's where my cursor is at this very second. So now that I've sort of marked my text, I need to do something with it. Do I want to cut it? Do I want to copy it? Um, what do I want to do? Well, really, those are my only two choices. So suppose I want to copy it. I'm going to do a select and then a C and it will say, it'll say copied. So there we go. So that I'm going to hit a dot eight to okay that. Um, and then I'm going to go to the end of the file because that's where I want to paste that. So I'm going to do a long press on my down arrow and it takes me to the end of the file. I like to add a couple of spaces though, you know, just to kind of give me a clear, clear field of the braille display. Now, if I want to paste it, just like on the computer, it's, it's of the letter V, but we're going to do the select key and then a V, oops, and then a V. <laughs> because you know it helps if you use the right dots and then we're going to use it uh, enter with the dot eight and now you'll see we have United States that's pasted here and my cursor is actually at the front of what I pasted and not at the back so for example I'm going to come back here I'm going to hold down my spacebar and navigate back of a word uh, or two and it's going to say of America and then it then it has that space there that I I put there and now it says United well it would say United States if the whole word fit there now it says United States right there so and as you can see it it, it did paste the space that I had had inserted there so it's kind of cool so that is um, pasting uh, copying and pasting text you, I could show you how to cut it. As a matter of fact, maybe I will. Uh, suppose I want to cut this text. So, and we'll just do this backwards. Hey, why not? So I'm going to hold down my, uh, press my mark or my uh, select key to create a mark. So select letter M. So I've created this mark right here and I'm going to hit an enter. So my mark, as you can, maybe you can't see, I don't know. Um, it's a stationary little blip there. I'm going to come up and I'm going to find the words United States that I had inserted. Here we go. And now my cursor is there. So now I can do a select and an X to, co to uh, cut it. And there you have it. Now we're just back to just having America there. So we have successfully cut that text back. Thanks for watching. Be sure to tune in for our next video in the series, which will focus on using the Orbit as a remote display.